people have wanted me to watch this for like three days. It's time. From using aimbot during a live CSGO tournament to completing Super Mario 64 with a see-through blindfold, <laughs> these are the dumbest streamers who are caught in 4K cheating, beginning with Elm Zero, who accidentally left his aimbot on whilst trying out for a professional esports team. What an idiot. Up until this point, Elm Zero had built up a respectable 3,000 Twitch followers for his impressive it's Apex really Legends gameplay. However, while trialing for the pro team Zenith, judges noticed that his aim was almost too impressive. And while this first kill was arguably still possible without aimbot, his next kill was significantly more suspicious. Elm Zero shoots through the wall as if he already knew where the enemy was. Oh, I was like, I don't know. I, I think I feel like I've seen Shroud do that. But yeah, he shot through the wall player with near perfect accuracy. Elm Zero was instantly called out in a Twitter post reading, how are people streaming cheats in Scrims Lameo, which yeah. received a response explaining that he was known for cheating on PUBG in the past. Wow. One of my accounts was banned from PUBG. I was banned by the PUBG Corp for, I mean, my ban message said hacking. Determined to expose. I, I mean, I guess it said, like, I mean, I don't really, I mean, like, that's what it said. I mean, I don't know really what, what it was. Like, I mean, shit, dude. Like, I mean, fuck, I, I guess that's that's what it was? I, I don't know. It was Elm Zero for good. Another clip was tweeted of him warming up for the match, in which his aim was once again robotically accurate, and with the evidence seeming conclusive, Zenith Esports would make a tweet explaining that Elm Zero was not contracted with us and has been removed from our trial process, which was followed by Elm Zero deleting all of his social media before disappearing from the internet. I'm sure that's what somebody who wasn't cheating would do. Yeah, I'm sure he was actually just really, really good at the game, and he didn't want to have people dragging him down anymore. So yeah, he just had to he had to call it quits. Semper 0311 was even stupider, as after going live playing the game Destiny 2, he'd forget to hide the aimbot program altogether. <laughs> At the time, he was streaming to a small audience of only 16 people, however this was enough for one of his viewers to notice the fishy gameplay, writing in the chat, is that aimbot, on your screen it has like red squares around them. Semper was dumb enough to read the comments out loud, my screen has red squares around them, and after pretending to be confused for a couple of seconds, the stream ended abruptly and the footage was deleted. In the days <laughs> that followed, Semper denied cheating and threatened to ban anyone bringing it up. No, it's not. No, it's not. And I didn't, dude. If you want to get banned, you can keep saying that. Yet after being pressured by the- I feel like it's really easy to tell if somebody's cheating and using aimbots. You have them play, and then you compare how they played before and then after. You know, on like some random ass game. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fucking simple. Audience, Semba admitted to cheating in the weakest way possible. There was wall hacks on my computer yesterday on stream. Like I'm not denying that. I just don't know how they got there. However, at least so he so s somehow like it just basically like somebody got onto his computer and downloaded hacks to make him look bad on his stream. That makes sense because like somebody's trying to get him canceled. I mean, this dude's on the come up. He's got 15 viewers, bro. He's balling out. Like somebody saw that and said like I can't stand to see people eat. I, I gotta, I gotta bring him down. I gotta take this guy down a peg. A hundred percent. Semper eventually admitted to some kind of wrongdoing Jesus. as the next person blamed her cheating on a non-existent person. I know this person. The streamer in question yeah. went by the name of Miss Q Gemini and just prior to being exposed, she'd state that people often- Isn't like, wait a second, like, I, I, I hate this stuff, but isn't, aren't Geminis in astrology known to be like liars and manipulative? Like, that's kind of like one of the established things. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. That is just fucking crazy, isn't it? How do you know? I know a lot of stuff. Called her a cheater simply because she was female. You know what's really sad? Oh. That sometimes, you know, because I'm female in Counter Strike, people are like, you're cheating. However, the real reason behind why she was called a cheater revealed itself just minutes later it's because she was as a she began her first CSGO game of the stream with wall hacks enabled. All ah, women what? cheat. They're mid. Mid. To be. I'm going back to be. Good shot. You know what the saddest thing is? She missed. Mid. Watch. Mid. To be. I'm going back. Watch, watch it real quick. Every frame, she's actually missing him, even though she has aim, uh, she has wall hacks on. 
She actually went over his head. Look at that. Sad. After dying in the game, she'd come to notice her colossal size mistake and attempted to play the whole thing off by stating that she had some weird glitch. Do you guys ever get that uh, that weird glitch in CSGO where it shows your rank, that it shows everyone's rank? I played the other day with Rock and he got that and now I have it. I don't, I don't know what's why. Yeah. Which was then followed by Miss Q Gemini stating that someone named Clara had been playing on her computer earlier that day. <gasps> Wait, Clara, hold on. Clara, give me one second. Clara, let me just message this girl. Give me one second. Why is this on my computer right now? Where is this? How do I close this? I need to text my friend Clara right now. She was at my house earlier today. I'm literally gonna kill her. She promised me she didn't use it on my PC. Clara, out of all- So it's like, then you had a conversation about it. Like, it's just, it's so dumb. People. This is what happens when- Yeah, this is one. Everybody knows this one. Let people use your PC. Realizing that there was no getting out of this, Miss Q Gemini began to trade all of her items to a brand new account. Yet, unfortunately, this wouldn't stop a Twitch ban, which happened later that day. Good. And while it's certainly shameless to blame a friend for the hacks on your computer, it's not nearly as shameless as aimbotting during a professional CSGO tournament, which is what would happen in the case of Optic Forsaken. Forsaken had joined the Indian Optic group in May 2018, and in the five games played after joining, Forsaken had always placed either second or first. Wow. While many assume that Forsaken was nothing more than a very talented player, it will be after flying to a $100,000 prized professional tournament in Shanghai, China, that Optic Forsaken was exposed brutally. The tournament began with Forsaken taking large breaks in the warm-up rounds, as if he was trying to set something up on his computer in the background, yet it would only be after the main matches began that Forsaken's plays became incredibly suspicious. This first strange flick into the ground was followed by countless examples of him locking perfectly onto the enemy. Like I can imagine the first two, you know, like you could probably you could probably do the first two. You you know, you go through like a hundred games. I mean like a hundred games, a thousand games. And eventually that will happen if you're very, very good. But the third guy, a fucking 90 degree turn to the third guy, no shot. And while there was a chance that some of these kills could still be made by a high level yeah, player, uh, yeah. it would be with one final matchup that Forsaken's aimbot became obvious. To the smoke. After locking onto the enemy through a wall, yeah. event organizers called a timeout, and officials made their way over to Forsaken's computer to figure out if he was cheating. At first, Forsaken refused access to his computer, however the officials would ignore this and look anyway, during which Forsaken kept pushing them away from his computer while he tried to delete the aimbot right in front of their faces. Despite having traveled all the way from India, Forsaken and the whole Optic team were instantly disqualified from the tournament. They put that kid in a re-education camp, man. Like, I mean, that's the thing is, I would not want to do that shit in China. Like, of all of the countries to cheat in a video game in, China would be the last one that I would want to do it with. Which became even worse yeah. when Forsaken issued a public statement explaining that neither his team, manager, or coach had even the faintest idea that he was hacking. The scandal eventually resulted in optic- That's probably true. They, they probably didn't know. India shutting down altogether, but Forsaken isn't the only person in this video mm -hmm. to cheat in a professional tournament. Because during a professional Fortnite tournament oh with a $500,000 prize, the following scenario happened to a player by the name of Marky Locurus. Why Despite being down and finished countless times by his opponent, a glitch prevented Marky from being eliminated. Oh, it's a glitch. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to keep quiet about what had happened, which was followed by the two unfairly killing the player who had downed Marky originally. Wait, so he just had like an invincibility glitch on? Damn, that's nuts! 
after continuing to play normally, Marky was approached by event organizers who asked him to leave the match, yet he'd refused stating that what had happened was a glitch and was part of the game. While he would eventually give up and leave, this prompted a discussion online about whether Marky had cheated or not. A hundred percent he cheated. Like, even if that was a glitch, let, let's assume that it was a glitch. If you got downed and the guy shot you and it's a tournament game, that means that the rules, the, the, the rules that the game has, it's the spirit of the game, right? You clearly lost. You died just because the game didn't do that. Just a, a glitch doesn't mean that you can take advantage of it. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Well, he's not cheating and he's not trying. That's the worst part. Yeah, he should have just quit out immediately. Yeah. Like, there, in no other professional game, if this ever happened, like, let's say in Counter-Strike, if somehow somebody just had, like, an invulnerability glitch and they just went and killed everybody on the other team, they would immediately count that round out and disqualify that person. There is never another circumstance in which this would be okay. I don't think he is cheating. I think he just went with it. All these kids saying he wasn't cheating. He knew he wasn't Who cares? taking damage and got revived and continued the game even though he should have died. Exactly. Yeah, it, it's it, it's cheating at worst, bad sportsmanship at best. That's considered an exploit and is cheating. Fun fact, the first clip was actually a glitch, but he decided to abuse yeah, it. Sure. There was certainly an argument for whether or not Marky's behavior constituted cheating. However, the same cheating. couldn't be said for Captain Baldy, who accidentally showed his aimbot. Yeah, yeah, I, I think in my opinion, like 100% it's cheating. It's not even a question. Like, no shot. That's okay. Oh, fuck. Give me a minute. Something fell down. Ugh. Okay. No, this isn't me. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. It's not me. I was trying to prove that he wasn't cheating. Up until this point, Captain Baldy had built up a Warzone kill death ratio of over two. Yet similar to the Apex Legends play in the beginning, Captain Baldy would be called out. A Warzone? Wait, a two? That's bad. Bro, how do you, how do you have a two? Wait, what? Bro, mine was higher than that. A two with hacks? Like, I'm pretty sure if you put a dog on the computer, it would be able to do a better job. What is this? On Twitter, after locking onto an enemy who was running behind a wall. Another clip then surfaced where Captain Baldy displayed suspiciously accurate shooting. And as a result, his chat began to fill with people calling him a cheater. Determined to prove his innocence, Damn, Captain Baldy agreed to show his task manager, yet hilariously seemed to instead tap the key which brought up his cheat menu. Task manager? Yo, they want my task manager? Hold up. Control, delete. No, control. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Oh my god! Like, how are people this stupid? I mean, it's so good. Yeah, it's like you're not even... It, how are they this dumb? It's it's just sad that somebody is this dumb. Clara did it? Apparently, yeah. It's so dumb, he should act like he was trolling. Yeah. Or something, man. Like, god damn. I love how he just stares there and he looks at it. He's like, oh. 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 It's like this is the time that you would play like the fucking dial up sound. Like he's like fucking thinking, trying to connect. Like, oh, what, what should I do now? Oh my god. The chat then oh mocked my god. Baldy relentlessly, <laughs> there it is. which was followed by a live Warzone ban later in the stream. Disconnected from COD. No way. Damn. No no I wonder the why. Baldy saga ending with the deletion of his entire Twitch channel. See Getting ya. caught while checking the task manager was a trend continued by Call of Duty streamer Young, although he didn't take his expose as humbly as Captain Baldy did. Young's viewers noticed that he always seemed to know where the enemy was coming from, so just like our last cheater, the audience requested that he show his task manager. Now, Young yeah. wasn't dumb enough to bring up the entire cheat menu. However, after accessing the task manager, his stream display bugged out and showed a second window where his 
attacks could be seen clearly. After being banned from Call of Duty, Young would take to his Twitter on which he'd make an idiotically God. arrogant tweet reading, got mad free press tonight, over 2k views overall. Some people even posted my gameplay online. Thanks for the shout outs people, really appreciate the help. Although- th and, and three quote tweets, one like. Bro, this guy's grinding. Like he's on the way up. Literal, literal ratio, yeah. The thing is, what you guys need to remember is like ratio used to be whenever you would have more comments than likes. And and now, no, it, it's just some other bullshit. These 2,000 views yeah, worth of free tweet, press didn't contribute to the long-term growth of his career, as Young hasn't gone live on Twitch what ever since. What a stupid since. name. However, Young still looks like a genius in comparison to Twisted Bear, <laughs> whose Twitch description boldly claimed that he was the top Modern Warfare player. The Damn. reason for this claim would become apparent in July of 2020, Damn. when he'd go live displaying his skills, only he completely forgot that he had his wall hacks on. The end to Twisted Bear's career was then unbelievably quick. He was banned from Call of Duty, then Twitch, and was never heard from ever again. What a surprise. But this is what separates Twisted Bear from the next cheater, Mr. Golds, who made a much larger spectacle over his cheating ban. Of course. Mr. Golds was a much more significant figure in the Call of Duty. Oh, I, yeah, I mean, this dude's got 50k followers. Like, to me, it's like whenever you have, like, a fucking, you know, some random guy with 2k followers that gets caught with cheats, he's like, ah, oh, shucks, guys. Okay, I guess I'm gonna work at Starbucks again. I'll see you later. You know, but, like, this guy, he's got 50,000 followers. Like, this is a job. Like, he's really working at it and making it happen. And, like, that's what I'm... I, I'm, I'm ready to see that happen. There's such Unity, dorks, sporting yeah. a Twitch follower count of over 50,000. Uh -huh. During a live stream to an audience of approximately 1,700 people. people, Mr. Golds brought up his task manager before beginning to brag about how he was so good at Call of Duty that he didn't need to cheat. Is it the first time you see someone good at the game? Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? It's like, like, seriously. Although he didn't seem to notice that he'd also accidentally brought up his cheat menu on which he had aim at enemies turned Holy on. Holy fuck, bro. Like, how is it? Like, this stuff, like, these people are so stupid that, like, you, you think to yourself, like, is it a meme? You know, are they doing this just to, like, fucking take the piss? Is it is it some kind of, like, a joke just to get people going along with it or what? I don't know. But, god damn, that is just sad. It's, like, I think what's really sad about it is, like, people, they need to brag that they're good at a video game that they're cheating in. It's like, it's just a video game. Who can, no, it doesn't matter either way. It's a fucking game. It doesn't matter if you're good at it. Who cares? But they're cheating and their ego. Yeah, it's just like, but like, I just think it's so sad. Like, I get it whenever you're young and there's like nothing else you, you like really old enough to be good at. And like, yeah, maybe like video games are a thing. But like, these are like fucking 30 year old men, you know, 28 year old men. Like, you need to stop getting a fucking ego from being good at a video game. Holy shit, man. How sad. On. Despite having 1,800 viewers at the time, almost nobody was talking in the chat or calling him out for it, showing that he was probably also viewbotting. However, while the chat remains pretty quiet, the incident was shared to Twitter where it received over 2,000 likes yep. and 700 retweets. After being temporarily How banned many? from received over 2,000 likes and 700 oh. retweets. Yeah, After being temporarily banned from Call of Duty and Twitch, people. Mr. Golds would upload an apology video in which he'd state that he didn't mean to download the cheats. I truly am sorry about it. I didn't mean to. What does he mean, I didn't mean to? You yeah, don't- Like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't- It's so sad that all these people, they can't- Like, why can they- Why can they- Why can't they just say, like, yeah, I was cheating? Yep. I cheated. Why did I do it? Because I like winning and I thought it was funny because I would win all the time. Like, that's pretty much why it happened. Yep. Don't download and use Simple. cheats without meaning to. I mean, come on, buddy. Before going on to try yeah. and convince his audience that this wasn't who he was. This is not who I am. This is really not who I am. Despite having cheated for months in the lead up to his expose. These days, Mr. Gold's Twitch channel is an advertisement for big cryptocurrency giveaways from Tesla, which... So is it just like basically he got his... He probably got his account hacked. 
he either so this is what happened right he either got his account hacked or he sold his account so people go on websites and they buy accounts with certain amounts of followers and this was like really popular back whenever uh twitter verification was like a a cool kids club rather than an eight dollar club is that you would be able to buy Twitter accounts with verified names and then change them into what you wanted them to be. Yeah, and so he probably sold it to somebody else who's using it for a crypto giveaway. Sounds like an even bigger scam than his wall hacks. Yeah, so However, he's got a the more thing interesting there. question to ponder is what happens when a game developer gets caught cheating on his own game? This is what happened to Ortonil, the H1Z1 technical director, who was caught using invisibility whilst live on stream. What's happening? Why are you cheating? Really? Dude? You're cheating? A dev cheating. Wait, wait, you're not seeing him? him? You can't see me? Yeah. Oh, he is. oh my god, am I hidden? Oh my god. Wait, yeah. what did he just show? Oh, I, yeah, I've never played this game, so I don't I don't know what I'm looking oh at. Oh my god. Yeah, judging from his reaction, the cheat had definitely been left on accidentally. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, guys. Damn, I actually feel for the dev. You can tell he felt really bad. Poor guy, lol. However, there was absolutely no accident. Oh, wait a second. So he was on dev console invisible mode and he just ran in there and fucking domed three guys with invisible on. Legit accident? Yeah, actually probably an accident. I, I mean, why would he do that? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It looks like he just forgot. Yeah, that's really fucking funny. <laughs> Accidents coming from FaZe Jarvis, who was given a Jarvis. lifetime ban on Fortnite after cheating publicly. On the 4th of November 2019, FaZe Jarvis video. would upload a video titled Fortnite Gave Me Aimbot, in which he'd explain that he was given hacks by an unknown person in random duos. Something crazy actually happened. I got in a random duos game, and he was telling me, like, he can get aimbot and everything. And that he was going to test the hacks for his video. You've got to keep in mind, like, obviously this kid's is, like, I, I think Jarvis was, like, 15 years old or something like that so you can't really expect them to be smart like for example like anybody like if you're if you're older you would know that like 19 i thought yeah he was night is he 19 now or is he night was he 19 then if he was 19 then he was 19 okay then he's an idiot okay yeah never mind uh yeah he's a fucking idiot because like the problem is that I don't really think it's that big of a deal to, to do this in a vacuum. But the problem is that whenever you, you play with aimbot and then you advertise it to everybody else, it's going to increase the amount of people that use aimbot. You see what I'm saying? So like, even if you say, don't do this, don't do this, um, you know, people still gamble. That's just what happens because you're advertising it. That's the way it goes. This is what happens. Look. Aimbot, FOV, aimbot. I don't know what half this stuff means, but it's it's actually about to be lit. We're about to pop off. Over the following seven minutes, Jarvis lit up every single person in the lobby with his insane yeah. aimbot accuracy. Oh my gosh, man. And oh. it's like, I, like, you see what I'm saying about how like somebody who's like just a naive, dumb kid would probably do this and like not really think of the ramifications. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they would just be like, do this, like, oh, yeah, this is... Because they're thinking in their mind, oh, I'm going to make a cool video that nobody else has made, and people are going to see what it's like to aimbot. And he doesn't really think about the ramifications of, like, how this is going to affect the audience, or how this is going to affect, like, the game as a whole, or how the developer is going to see it. Like, they're probably not going to care about that. Who the fuck cares? Well, the people that run Fortnite care. Because like they don't want to have somebody going around advertising their uh, advertising ways to cheat in their game, bro. The one thing that is more toxic than anything else is people that are cheating in a game. Because whenever a game has a reputation of having cheaters, that means that every single time that you get killed, you don't think, "Man, I just got outplayed by somebody who's really good." Every time you lose to someone, it's sus. Every time you lose to somebody, you're wondering, is this guy cheating or is he good? It's so corrosive for a game. It's awful. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh 
I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Whilst explaining that he was using a new account and a new computer so he wouldn't get banned. Yeah. Obviously, I don't want to have aimbot on my main account. I had to go on- Yeah, and it's like you can see how somebody who is really, really dumb would think this isn't a problem. I'm not saying it's okay, but I'm saying that I can see how a dumb person would not identify this as problematic new pc like i don't want to get my main pc banned jarvis finished i mean he literally has the zoomer meme haircut okay he has the meme haircut he's not like some fucking you know like you know well-reasoned adult man yeah he's bus bussing yeah exactly what do you expect man video by once again reiterating that you shouldn't hack and that his dummy account was most certainly going to get banned. Never use aimbot, okay? Never do it. You're gonna get banned. I'm 100% gonna get banned on this account. Yet he probably didn't expect that Fortnite would watch his video and ban every single one of his accounts permanently. Yeah, and, and I think that again, it was just like, uh, he just didn't think that far ahead. In the days that followed, Jarvis would upload a new video titled I've been banned from Fortnite, I'm sorry, in which he'd explain that he could no longer play the game. I've actually been permanently banned on Fortnite for life. Recently, I posted some videos of me using aimbot. It didn't even cross my mind to think that I could be banned for life on Fortnite. Before stating that he was extremely sorry for his actions. You know, it's, it's obvious that I made a massive mistake. And of course, I would never think about doing anything like this again. I know- I, I think that it, like, I think this is probably what I said. Like, if they unban him in like three years or something like that, it's like the guy was an idiot. He did something he shouldn't have done. Just unban him in a few years and just move on. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. Uh, who cares? It, it it is just a video game after all. Now, how big of a mistake this was, and like, I, it's just there's there's nothing I can. The video accompanied a tweet by Jarvis reading, I'm going to take accountability for my actions and I understand completely why this has happened. I just wish I had known how severe the consequences were at the time and I would have never thought about doing it. Yeah, that's totally what it was. He just like, you've got to think of it from his perspective, right? He's got content brain and he's thinking this is going to be a great YouTube video. And to be fair, he was right. But yeah, he just didn't think of the consequences. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. I love all of you who still support me. This is not the end. And while Jarvis did seem quite apologetic for his actions, Fortnite would make an example out of Jarvis by banning any new accounts that he tried to create. The interesting thing is Jarvis's punishment was still less severe than Super Fast Jellyfish, who might have the craziest cheating story in this whole video. Super Fast Jellyfish was a Super Mario 64 speedrunner who wanted to join the exclusive nine person list of Super Mario players who had completed the game whilst blindfolded. In the lead up to his blindfolded attempts, Superfast Jellyfish had been playing Super Mario 64 for three and a half years, leading him to believe that he had enough experience to beat the game without eyesight, and apparently he was correct, as he'd successfully complete the blindfolded challenge after only three tries. However, his ability- That's crazy. Only three tries. Wow to complete the challenge with such ease prompted a user by the name of charlie brown 64 to upload a video titled obvious Ooh. cheetah fakes blindfolded super mario Ooh. 64 speed run in which he tears super fast jellyfish's run to absolute shreds only a true gamer such as this man would be able to somehow sidestep this goomba quickly make his way up the path and then do this long jump to the next red all completely blindfolded and without that's what's so nuts man is like, I could see him just like walking around really slowly, but he's not even trying to hide it. He's literally doing speed run strats while he's supposed to be blindfolded. It's not even, just not even trying. Absolutely. Yeah, no at least run off the edge a few times, man. No setup necessary. Not only does he somehow know exactly where the one-up box is, but he also knows exactly what direction the one-up will go and once it spawns, something completely determined by RNG. Then Ooh. after chasing it on a moving platform for a completely arbitrary amount of time, he somehow knows exactly when and where to jump to the left. Watch now as he somehow knows exactly where he is on the spinning platform and knows exactly where the first pole is. Again, anyone who was actually blindfolded here would have probably just kept holding left and run off. However, this guy is able to make a completely random amount of adjustments to make it on to the pole. 19 days after Charlie Brown would upload his expose, Superfast Jellyfish uploaded a bizarre apology video in which he'd try to claim that the run had- <laughs> Minus 27k? 
Look at the like dislike ratio. Holy fuck. Negative 27,000 people. Oh my god. It'd been fake deliberately. That speed run was purposely fake. It was purposely Makes sense. fake. Yet nobody seemed to buy any of his lies. A super fast jellyfish's time in the spotlight ended with a dislike ratio of over 95%. I wonder why. Like, like, why would you ever want your, uh, you, why would you intentionally make a fake speed run? It's just so weird. Who would have guessed? Yeah, it's like the only one that I kind of, like, I don't feel bad for any of these guys. In a little, uh, a there's like a small bit of me that feels bad for Jarvis for getting like a lifetime ban just because he thought his video would be bussin'. And it was, but it was busting too hard for real. A and Fortnite said, fucking, no, nah, that's, it's too much. It's busting too hard. <laughs> we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to shut this shit down. <laughs> yeah, and, and so like, yeah, that's, that's, it's what happens. I, I kind, I wouldn't care if this kid ever got unbanned in Fortnite. I wouldn't, it's like, it's after three years, it's four years, something like that. But they had to, they had to make an example out of him, right? I mean, like, put yourself in their position. And, like, also, like, Fortnite's this, like, massive fucking game. And you've got this kid with a dumb haircut that's just cheating in your game. And like, yeah, of course you're gonna ban him. Like, what the fuck? Like, what do you, what do you have to do? Like, you have to compromise with this stupid guy? Like, that, that, that's like some 19-year-old that's posting hacks to your game? Like, no, get him the fuck out of here. So, yeah. Yeah, send him to gamer jail. Exactly. And so, yeah, FaZe is full of ego cons. Get rid of them. I don't know about that. I think there's some pretty cool people in FaZe. But um, this was definitely an L. But, I mean, you could see why he's this upset, right? I mean, you're 19. Your whole career up to this point has been Fortnite. You've been doing this for years. Your lifestyle is, is great. You're 19. You're probably making hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, fuck, of course he's going to be sad and upset about it. But again, you know, it's the same as Logan Paul filming dead people in the in the forest. Think about it. Because, like, I can even see somebody doing this on stream. Like, I have a, like, I am more willing to forgive a mistake that happens if it's not on stream. Or sorry, if it's on stream. Because it's ex it's extemporaneous. You're just making a decision in the moment. You're like, oh, I'm going to do this. And then you go do it. And then, you know, it's really stupid and bad. And you shouldn't have done it. But, like, this guy fucking recorded the video, edited the video, or paid somebody else to edit the video, and then he uploaded it with, like, a thumbnail, taglines, a title, and everything. So, yeah. Dude got banned from Japan for that? Oh, I think so. I don't really know. Internet's so brainwashed, they forgot Logan Paul did that and support him. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. The guy behind the video was cheering him on. He had people saying yes. Well, the thing is, the guy behind the video, like, they did, probably didn't think about this shit. Like, bro, like, these are just people, like, you've got to keep in mind, like, these people play Fortnite for a living. What do you think they're going to have a fucking, a, a, a broader social understanding of the ripple effect of a YouTube video and how it could affect the broader player base of a game? No, like, they, they have no fucking, they're fucking... The video professional video game players they just did something stupid like it's not like this isn't some kind of fucking like uh you know some plot to destroy the world they're just being stupid that's all it's nothing else to it that yeah professional well yeah they're professional they, i mean they make money playing the game they, they they play the game they get paid to play the game they make money through playing the game they're professional fortnite players that's the way it would work and so, yeah, uh, that's that's really all I have to say about it. But it is kind of funny to see him crying and upset about it because obviously aimbot is bad and people that are cheating are fucking morons. But, you know, it's, it's not something that you want to hold a grudge on forever. I get. At least he did it blatantly and honestly on stream. Yeah, that's true too. You're aware of that stuff? You make your money playing video games? I don't really think I... If I didn't play video games, I think I would still make money. Whereas this guy, I mean, I don't really know. And, and again... Like, anybody who looks to a streamer, like, this is the truth, like, the same with me or anybody else, right? Like, don't look to any one person and be like, okay, I want this person 
like this this live streamer to be the person that like dictates how I think to me. That it's a bad idea no matter what game they're playing. Even if they're not playing a game, it's still problematic. Yeah, you've got to think a little bit beyond that. Issue is running the program against others rather than a sandbox mode. I think that it would be just as bad as in a sandbox mode because you're showing how good aimbot is. I can guarantee you. Like, is there anybody who thinks that somebody didn't download an aimbot after watching this video? I guarantee you at least two people did. Like, it, it fucking at least. Like, I, I bet probably, like, hundreds of people did, to be, to be honest with you. But, like, at least a, a number of people did. Yeah, at least two. So, yeah, of course it's going to cause that effect. Yeah, it's 23. I had 23 million. Oh, wait, did that one have 23 million? Or did the uh, the one with him uh, uh, apologizing have 23 million? I, I have no idea. Let me Explain see. that he could no longer play the game. I have actually been permanently back. Uh, yeah, yeah. The apology had 23 million. Not the video itself. Show the hacker hunters on YouTube. He's only playing Fortnite. That's why it's so sad. Uh, he was so good at the game, living out of it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'll link the video. The Sunny video is... I, I watched so many of these. These are so good. I think that the most impressive thing about the Sunny videos is the fact that he makes them so frequently. A lot of these kinds of videos take a long time to do. This guy probably works his fucking ass off putting these videos together and editing them and, like, having good ideas that are compelling all the time. It's pretty fucking impressive, man. Uh, I would say so for sure. The sad thing is whenever good players cheat? Well, yeah, because if you're a good player, you could always be better. I think that it's probably going to be more likely for a good player to cheat because good players have a reputation to uphold better than a bad player who can just be shitty and it doesn't matter.